Is your Samsung device secure? Let's talk about it. Now I got the Note 20 Ultra here and I have the S23 Ultra. Now the Note 20 Ultra just received its last security update, which was for the month of April. <clears throat> that's what I read, you know, when I was on um, one of the Google feeds and that's what I read. So no more security updates for the Note 20 Ultra. For those of you that still have it, I know some of you, <laughs> it don't matter. You still going to keep your phone. I don't blame you, but is your phone still secure now that you're not going to be getting the latest quote unquote security updates? Is it still secure? All right. So let's talk about it. Okay. Now the setup for both of these phones, when you go into the settings are a little different because of the different versions of one UI, because this doesn't have one UI 6.1. I mean, 6.0. This does. So I think this is, uh, if not my mistaken, one UI 5.1, I think. But let me let me just check. Instead of guessing, just look, right? About phone. Go to software information. Yep, 5.1, Android 13. So my last security update was April 1st. So that that's that's it, you know, from what I'm told. Yeah, April 1st. See? Last patch level. But let's get into it. So let's get to the, let me see, security, security, oh, I guess that's up here, security and privacy. So we're going to cut that on now. Everything looks good, as you can see. See, lock screen, secure, account secured, find my device secured, app security, secured, updates, privacy everything is secure you see it where it says looks good okay of course you can scan it to double check all right now when it comes to privacy if you go in here basically you know you can control the camera microphone location you could actually you know keep other apps from accessing your microphone location and camera you could literally go in there and shut those apps down so you do have that option and that's that's a good thing see right here camera access, microphone access, and you can shut those off if you want. Alert when clipboard is accessed. I always use the clipboard. I have that on. Somebody access it, it'll tell me. But I mean, nobody can get into my phone, so not a really big deal. Uh, permission manager, okay. This is some stuff I don't need to get into that. All right, so everything's secure. You go to biometrics. You see I'm using face recognition, fingerprints, Show unlock transition effect. I took that off. I could turn that back on. No big deal. Okay. I got Samsung Pass. This is when I use my fingerprint uh, for author, um, author, <laughs> author, author, ah, I can't pronounce that word for some reason, but to identify me, either verify my identity easily and securely. Okay. I don't know why I could not pronounce that word. Y'all see that word right there? I just had a hard time pronouncing that word for some reason. I just got tongue tied. Secure folder. You do have secure Wi-Fi, which is nice to have. Now you can subscribe to get more. But on here for this old model, I get, um, I think a gig per month, which is cool. Yeah. See, protection plan, a little over a gig per month free. Now with the S23 Ultra, <laughs> they ain't giving you over a gig free every month. you like, you look like they give you a certain amount in the beginning. And once it run out, they want you to pay for it. But with the no 20 ultra, you, you know, you can still get secure Wi-Fi, and you don't have to pay for it. You just can't go over this. You only get just a little over a gig here. Okay. Per month. And you only really need that when you're on to, uh, you know, public Wi-Fi. You know, like I went on vacation just to maybe a, two weeks ago and I was in a hotel using public Wi-Fi. So I used the secure Wi-Fi and I wasn't worried about nothing. And of course, you could set it up to auto protect. So soon as has ap adaptive protection. So soon as it detects the Wi-Fi to automatically start protecting your device and talk about the Note 20 Ultra here and probably more than likely the S20 Ultra as well. But I'm just using the Note 20 Ultra here, um, you know, because I have it right next to me. You got private share. <clears throat> you can share files privately, prevent recipients from resharing. 
and set expiration date. So say if you want to send something, quote unquote, fresh to your wife or your husband, and you didn't want them to reshare it with nobody, you can do that with private share. You don't have to worry about it being reshared because they couldn't reshare it. And also you can set an expiration date where it expires. So it'll expire right off their device. All right, so other security settings, you can in encrypt or decrypt your SD card. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, y'all. Now this protects your SD card by encrypting its data, but that can take up a lot of space from your card if you do that, because I did it one time. It took up a lot of space and it took a long time to do. <clears throat> but say if you wanted to put real sensitive information on that SD card and you lose your phone and somebody take the SD card out, they're not going to be able to, if, if it's encrypted, <laughs> it, they put it in their phone, they're not going to get nothing because it's going to be completely encrypted. So that's something, that's an option if you want to do that. You can make your passwords visible. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. It makes no sense. And this other stuff here, um, not a big deal. Okay. Keep your phone secure with latest security updates. That's something that's no longer available on this particular device. But it's still secure as you as you saw and I showed you and you can scan it and check and they do have things on here where you can um, see app security. Let me go into that app security. See, you got device protection, Google Play protection. Um, it lets you know that your system, you know, both is up to date. Find my device. Your accounts are secure. Your lock screen of course, secure because using your biometrics. So, I mean, there is, you know, adequate, adequate security to keep your phone still secure, you know, once those security updates stop coming. So let's talk about the S23 Ultra. Now, of course, this is going to get security updates for another, what, I think four years. <laughs> so you ain't going to have to worry about security updates with this at all. But just let's talk about the security anyway, like all the layers of security they got on this. You know, I just want to, you know, talk about that really quick. So let's go to security and privacy. Here we go. Now, this one is going to be a little different than with the Note 20 Ultra, but it's similar. So you see here it says looks good. No Security issues, lock screen, account security. It just looks different. It's the same. Lock device protection, app security, updates, biometrics. Now, auto blocker. Now, that's, this is something that the Note 20 Ultra don't have. And what that is, keep your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activity. That's cool. So you go in here, you turn that bad boy on. It says auto blocker keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activity. Block apps from unauthorized sources. Only apps from authorized sources can be installed. Turns on app security checks. Apps installed on your phone will be checked for malicious activity. Blocks commands by USB cable. Malicious chargers, computers, and other devices won't be able to send commands to your phone when connected using a USB cable. That is good to have there. Messaging app protection block images suspected of containing malware and messaging apps. Block software updates by USB cable prevent installation of system software using USB cable. This can prevent someone with physical access to your phone from installing malicious software without your knowledge. You see, I have that turned on, this turned on. I got everything turned on. <laughs> that is excellent. Now, the Note 20 Ultra does not have that option. Okay, now when you go to more security settings, of course, you got your secure folder, your secure Wi-Fi. But on this one now, you got to pay for it because I'm out of it. Let me show you. It says ready to protect. See, if you subscribe to the monthly plan, you get free unlimited protection for the first month but you got to subscribe and pay every month for it. See, there's no um, per month free protection plan left. I mean, it's saying here protection plan, something per month free, but you see that's not lit up. See, that's over. It says, oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, upgrade protection, get, uh, why? hold up. 
Yeah, I don't want to upgrade because get uh, why are you too much? Not enough upgrade. Hold up. Let me see what happens here. Yeah, see, as soon as I press that, they're telling me I got to subscribe. I got to buy it. So it's no longer um, available to me for free. It's just not, not anymore. And it'll tell you protection activity, protection time, things like that. And of course, you got to auto protect your Wi Fi just like you do on the Note 20 Ultra, but it actually says here public Wi Fi protection only. So that's something you have to purchase. Enhanced data protection. This is good. Check this out. Protect your cloud data with end to end encryption. This ensures no one can access your data but you, even if there's a, a data breach. So I got my um, backup. It says encrypt backup data. I got that on. Encrypt sync data. I got that on. You could change your recovery mode, you know, uh, change your recovery code. So you can actually put in a recovery code. But it looks crazy on here. Let me see. Let show you all what it looks like. But I, I don't use it. But that's what it looks like. And you got to write that down. And then, you know, once you click that and say, I wrote down my recovery code. Now you have to make sure that you have it written down somewhere, because if you don't. You write down the code below and keep it in a safe place. It's the only way to recover your data. If you lose. If you lose it, you lose access to your trusted devices and Samsung can't even help you. OK. If you lose this code, your data can't be recovered. So think about it before you decide to use this. I'm not using it because I'm afraid that, I, you know, something might happen. I lose that and then I'm, I'm totally messed up. So I ain't messing with that. But it's nice to know that your my backup data is encrypted. My sync data is encrypted. So that's without getting the security update that my stuff is still protected. OK, that's what I'm trying to say here. Make passwords visible. You don't want to do that. That's crazy. Um, let me see. And that's pretty much it. And of course, my stuff is up to date for our security patch. I just got a new one. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. So the phone is definitely secure, even if you're not getting the latest security patches and you could always scan it, you know, to make sure that everything as soon as you go into it, it automatically scans everything. It's pretty quick. No security issues. If it is, it'll let you know <clears throat> and it'll correct the problem, whatever it is. So let me just say this again. Your, your Samsung device is secure. Whether you get the latest security patches or not, it's going to be secure because Samsung is using a lot of their security on top of what they give you over the air every month. They got extra layers of security on here to protect your phone. And also, I forgot to, to, to mention maintenance mode. I forgot to mention that. Let me see. Let me see. I think that's in device care, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yeah, maintenance mode. Now, check this out. This is pretty cool. So maintenance mode protects your privacy while someone else is using your phone, such as when you're sending it for repairs. How maintenance modes keep you safe? Only pre-installed apps are available. Personal data, including pictures, messages, and accounts can't be accessed. And downloaded apps are hidden. You will need to unlock your phone to turn off maintenance mode. What happens when you turn off maintenance mode? Everything will go back to the way it was when maintenance mode was first turned on. Nothing will be saved that happens that happens while maintenance mode is on, such as downloaded apps. I mean, downloaded data, app installation or settings changes. Backing up your data is recommended just in case data is lost while your phone is being repaired. So if you have to, you know, send your phone to Samsung to get it repaired, turn on maintenance mode and that nobody's going to have access to your information except you. No pictures, no messages, no personal information will be available. So you, that's something you definitely want to do if you ever have to send your phone in for repairs. So to say again, <clears throat> see app protection, no threats found, you're good. So your phone is definitely protected whether you get the latest and greatest over the air security updates or not. Samsung 
is doing a lot of stuff to make sure that your phone and your data is kept safe. So is your Samsung device secure? Yes. Even the older model. Now, of course, the newer one is more secure, um, but your old one is still secure as well. Still thing, layers of security that's protecting it. And also, if you really want to give yourself even more security, you can always install a VPN. Of course, you got to pay for that every month, a little bit of money. But still, if you want to go over the Internet a lot and you want to keep your data, you know, encrypted and, you know, don't worry about nobody getting into your phone, you can get a VPN. They got really good ones out there. OK. All right. So thank you all for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. I hope everybody out there is staying safe, staying well, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.